chosen. Choose your fighter. Hitman. on YouTube or B. Exposed. Did you sneeze today? Racist! Now, I don't know about you, but nowadays, the world seems to be psychotic. It's almost like we've lost the ability to think. But that's alright. That's why I'm here. Now, you may be asking yourself, what? Well, I'm glad you asked. Shut up. Critical thinking is a process, but before we get into that, we're gonna need some examples. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's live stream, the first in the history of our church. Now we here in the congregation decided that if we were going to keep up with the technology that our Lord has graciously provided us with, we were going to have to bring His Word online. <laughs> provided some of you would join us here today. And look, some of you have, oh my goodness, thousands of you now. Oh my, just look at God's little children just prancing away down there in that little chat room. Oh my, what is that? So colorful. Yeah, Billy, Billy, can you just tell us what, what is that? Chats. A what? Donations. A donation. Already? But we've only just begun. Oh my goodness. Okay, you just go ahead. All right, now. Oh my goodness. I felt a little something, a little tingling sensation down here. Okay, you just never you mind that. Now, oh my God, what is that? Billy, do you see that? Jerry. Some of y'all at home can't see this, but there's a light. Oh my goodness, bow your heads, bow your heads. Oh my God, Jesus. We know you're in the chat room right here with us today. Make sure if you're at home watching, in the chat room, to bow your heads and close your eyes, but make sure you keep that hand on that donation button. <laughs> Jesus, every time we get a donation over $100, I need you to double it! Lord, you hear me now, not only double it, I need you to triple it! I need you to quadruple it! Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Yeah! Ever watch someone in a prominent position that doesn't have a fucking clue and lacks that all-important self-awareness? Me too. What do you think? Isn't it obvious? Goblins. What? Either that or leprechauns looking to settle a score. <laughs> okay, you're joking. <laughs> Look kid, I know you're new. So I'm gonna do you the favor break it down for you, Barney style. Tiny footprints lead the way from the body into the woodline are a dead giveaway. The size and stride are an obvious indication of stature. Four feet tall, three minimum. Small puncture wounds throughout the stomach and chest caused by their claws or itty bitty fists. His hands are bound, magical rope more than likely. They had help, this much is clear. Since goblins are notoriously solo players, that narrows it down to those little Irish bastards. They do love their gold. Drag marks from the road clearly points to teleportation, which can only mean one thing. Skinwalkers. Perhaps they're aiding the killers to settle an old debt. Either way, this has Trump's prints all over it. I 
I know. You don't have to say anything. Just stick with me, kid. After all, I am verified. We all know that one cocksucker. Hello, Zach. Jesus. May I help you with something? Yeah, uh... Am I early or something? We've actually been open for quite some time. Huh. Do you have any questions for me, sir? Yeah, uh... Just show me around. Of course. Behold, the crown jewel of this art gallery. You see, the artists wanted to depict our world as unrefined and cornered. And off-white to reflect our conformity, as well as a defiance in acceptance of its perceived beauty by opposing its spherical shape. <sighs> Quite possibly the most important piece in modern art history. Wouldn't you agree? That's a box, dude. No, sir, this is actually what the artist wanted to depict and evoke emotion from those without the understanding and appreciation for modern art. Mom! I want to play with the box! Could you please leave, sir? Yeah, I paid to get up Sir, I need to ask you to leave. Mm. Hold the fuck up, man. Sir, this is an art gallery. Dude, what the hell? Damn it. That's a happy little accident, isn't it, Bob? Let's get crazy. Now that we've seen a few fucktards in action, let's see if we can find one real world YouTuber to examine. Next time, you get to see which successful YouTuber won our little raffle. See you soon.